Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to prove this wonderful result, which is the derivative of ln x is equals to 1 over x. Here, the ln x is the natural log of x, which means it is a logarithm that has the base of e. For example, in this function, if it is ln x, then it is log of x to the base of e okay so all the natural log will have the base of e so what does this mean in graphically the derivative of the function in graphically means if we plot the function for example ln x okay f equals to ln x here and if we take if we calculate the slope okay if we calculate the slope at any value of x any value then by taking the derivative of this function, it will give the slope at the exact value of x. So, I have plotted the graph of y equals to ln x. And if I take this derivative of this function, and if I plug in the value of x at the exact point, for example here, then, if I take this derivative of this function at this point by putting x equals to 2, then it will give the slope at this point. Okay, so this is the graphical definition of the uh, derivative. So, in this result, what it says is, if we have the function, which is here, I have plotted y equals to ln x. And if we take the derivative of it, and if we find the derivative or slope of the curve at any value of x for example in this point which is x equals to 2 here then in this graph y equals to ln x the slope will be exactly 1 over 2 okay and here it is 1 over 3 and here it is 1 over 4 so it is very interesting result because when we begin, it is a logarithmic function, but when we take the slope of the curve at any value of x, then the value is exactly, or the value is algebraic value, okay, 1 over x. So this is very interesting result, that's why I have chosen this topic for this video. Now let us move on to the proof. So we also know that from the definition of the derivative from the first principle, if y equals to f of x okay then the derivative of this function f of x from the first principle is from the ultimate or the fundamental definition of derivative is that we have derivative of f or x with respect to x is f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h when it has limit h approaches to 0 and here this h is the step okay it's the step of how much the function changes with respect to the change in the x actually change in the value of y when the when there is change in the value of x when there is change in the value of x so this is the step factor okay and or we can also write x in terms of delta x like this if you write in terms of delta x then we will get limit delta x tends to 0 f x plus delta x minus f x divided by delta x so this is the fundamental definition of derivative from the first principle now in this question we have f of x is equals to ln x so we have to plug this value in this definition to obtain the value of the derivative of the natural log of x. Now what we will do is, now we have derivative of ln x, okay, which is f of x, right? With respect to x is ln x plus h minus ln x divided by h when limit h approaches to 0 so from this expression we have to manipulate this expression in order to apply this limit okay 
so we also have to recollect some of the rule of the logarithms if it is ln a minus ln b then we can write this expression as ln a by b and we also know that if we have ln a raised to b then this can be written as we can take this in front of it to have b ln a so these two rules are very important in this derivation and we also need to recollect some of the important results of the limit which revolve around e so as we have already learned that if we have the expression like 1 plus 1 over n whole rest to n when n tends to infinity then this limit will be simply e which is a very interesting number okay which is transcendental number and its value is around 2.71 something and we also know that if we have like this 1 over m raised to 1 over m and the limit m approaches to 0 then this will also result to the value of e which is Euler's number this e is also called Euler's number okay and its value is 2.71 like that it is irrational number now by having this four important information in our head now we can manipulate this function okay now see this expression can be written in terms of this so by writing this we will get d ln x upon dx equals to this one we can write limit 1 over h right ln x plus h by x and by dividing this in both of the terms we will get limit of h tends to 0 1 over h ln 1 plus h by x okay now what we have to do is by using this rule here we can raise this here right so we can write d ln x upon dx equals to limit h approaches to 0 ln 1 plus h over x over 1 over h okay now we have to do some substitution in order to apply this value because from this expression we have to either make something to this or something to this to apply this limit right now how, what we can do is we can substitute something like let k equals h over x right so which means that see when h approaches to zero this value approaches to zero what will happen here this k will also approach to zero since we are applying this limit to the value of h and k we notice that this value of x is independent of the limit which means limit does not apply to this x variable right so by using this adjustment we will get d ln x equals to limit of now see k approaches to 0 ln 1 plus here k and here this h value what is h here h is kx right so we can do 1 over kx and if you notice this this is same like 1 over k times 1 over x okay and if it is raised to 1 over x then by using this rule see here it is in this form right we can write in this form so we can do the adjustment again to have 1 over x why we are pulling this in front of this expression is we do not have to apply this value k equals to 0 because this x is independent of the limit so we can pull in front of it and now we will get limit k approaches to 0 
ln 1 plus k 1 over k okay and we can shift this limit inside because it only applies to this k right this k and this k so by shifting this limit we will get the final result now d ln x upon dx equals to 1 over x right ln 1 plus k k approaches to 0 1 over k so what is the value of this this value is as we have already discussed here this resembles exactly same with this right so this whole value this limit when we apply this limit this whole value equals to e right so now we only have 1 over x ln e right so this ln e the value of ln e is just log of e to the base e which is 1 so this value is exactly 1 therefore we will get the final result which is d ln x upon dx is 1 over x and this is very important result and from the definition of the integration we know that the integration is just finding the antiderivative of the function which will also imply that integral of 1 over x with respect to x will be ln x plus c okay so this is very important result and as i have already said that if we have the logarithmic function which is ln x then if we find the gradient at any x value for example here 1.5 if you find here it will be 1 over 1.5 here 1 over 1 like that so this is very interesting result i hope that you all have understood this proof and enjoyed this proof and if you are not taught in the calculus class before don't blame your teacher because this is usually not taught only we are required to remember the result of the differentiation thank you and i will see you in the next video